Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Wendy with loveandstampin.com. I am so excited that you're here with me today for multiple reasons, um, and we'll discuss all of those. <laughs> but the first reason is because I'm back. Yay. Back to my normal schedule, back here on YouTube Lives with you, posting regularly on social media and blog and all of the things. I had a wonderful Christmas break and so I'm back here to hang out with you. So before we jump in and get going on our project, which we have a super cute project today, um, I want to just share and address a few things so if you are new here, you know what to do. So first of all, if you're brand new, I do not chit chat up front with people while the live portion of my card making is happening because it's too distracting for me. So if you're brand new and you're not familiar with that, I, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's that I just, my brain cannot multitask. So, so, um, I'm going to make the project. And then when I'm done with the project, we have chit chat time and I go back through your comments and I look and I answer any questions that you have and address any, you know, concerns, thoughts, questions, comments, whatever. So just know that we do that at the end. Today, we are going to have an extended YouTube live because we are going to be strolling through the new catalog and I'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's address this. So this is the January Creative Inspiration Calendar for 2022. If you want these free in your mailbox every month, all you have to do is sign up for my emails. There is a link in the description below this video, and then you'll get this in your email every month. This month, I made it extra fun for everybody and had two typos. So the first one is, that I was actually going through a cal my other calendar comparing it to this one and I realized that I skipped the 20th and started with 21 here on this day. So all you have to do when you print your calendar if you've already printed it is just change these numbers starting with the 20th. So this was, it did say the 21st, so just put a zero there and fix that. And then here I have the host code is correct. This is the current host code for this month. And if you use this host code and you place a $50 order or more, you're gonna get a free embellishment from the new catalog from me. I accidentally left the old dates on here, but this host code is current and correct, okay? I am gonna update the calendar and fix it and send it out again in email, but I just wanted to let you guys know here on YouTube in case you've saw either of these uh, little oopsie doopsies on my part. I don't have somebody in the office who um, proofreads everything I do and sometimes little mistakes like this get made and nobody catches it. Wish I had a full-time proofreader but you know that's just the nature of owning your own business. Okay so today we're going to make a classic gatefold card with a belly band. I'm starting out with this classic um gatefold because I feel like it's one of those go-to cards, especially if you're like stalled out for creativity or you're not sure what to make, then you can go to making one of these and they're super simple. So we're going to make one of those today. We also are going to have a little giveaway at the end of our live. I have an extra, um, prize, uh, paper pumpkin stamp set. This is a Christmas stamp set, but it's super cute and I had more than one and I've got a little bit of tear and tape and an ink spot here. So I thought I would give these away at the end of our live today, but you do have to be here live and I will just pick a winner live. We're going to use the Friendly Hello uh, stamp set and let me grab the paper designer series paper. This is actually free with a $100 order. So you cannot purchase this. You can only get it free with an order, but this is the paper that we're using today. Let's see, here's a, here's a whole pack. I've got two packs, so let's just look at one pack. So let's look at this paper really quick. That's really beautiful. And then the stamp set goes with it. So when you place a $100 order, $100 order, you can choose to get this pack of goodies for free with a $100 order, okay? 
All right, the next thing is, um, I wanted to put this brochure sure here to remind me. You can join Stampin' Up! for $99 plus tax. Shipping is free right now, um, or always shipping is free on the kit, but you get to choose two free stamp sets with this uh, when you join. So you choose $125 in product plus another two free stamp sets, and that is offer is only good till February 28th, just so you know. Um, so it's a really good deal. And we'll talk more about that later. And then these are the two catalogs we're going to stroll through after we make our card. So let's get started. Let's get busy. i got to pull my sleeves up here so I don't get ink in them. I don't know about you guys, but the weather has been quite interesting here in California. And we'll talk about that probably when we just chitter chatter. All right, so this piece of cardstock, this is Granny Apple Green, and it's cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And as I'm creating, please chat in any questions you have for me. They don't have to be card making or Stampin' Up! related. I'm an open book. Um, and so chat in any questions you have for me. And then also, um, you know, let me know what life is like in your neck of the woods. And then that way, when I scroll back through the comments, we can chat. Okay, so five and a half by eight and a half, and then we're gonna score at two and an eighth on each end. So I'm just turning it around and scoring again at two and an eighth. And then we fold to the center. See that? It is like the easiest fold in the world. Simple, simple, classic gatefold card use my bone folder to smush it down. And then the rest is just decorating and putting it together. So I have a piece of four by five and a quarter cardstock here. By the way, there is a um, project sheet for free over on my blog. And you can jump over there. The link is in the description of the video. If you go to the description of this video and you scroll down to where it says measurements and supply list, it's available there. And you just go there and you can click and print the supply list and the measurements. And then you have it forever. Okay. So let's hope you have the best birthday. And then I just put this little image here. And this is stamped in fresh freesia ink. And I'm going to use my stamp and seal. And this will go on the inside of the card. So again, this is cut at four by five and a quarter. Then for the front of the card, let's do this. We've got two pieces of the designer series paper. This paper is cut at two inches by five and three eighths. So you would need two of these. And these are for your front flaps. Now, if you wanted, you could put designer series paper on the inside as well. So when you open it up, you would just have that much more decoration on the inside, but I just went with the outside and I love this um, pattern, this beautiful, the beautiful striped pattern. I love it. All right. And then I've pre-stamped this cause we're gonna fussy cut that out. These are cut from the layering circle dies and um, I think this one's two and three quarters inches and this is two and three eighths. But I did put the measurement of the circles on the project sheet over on my blog. So if you wanna be sure to know what those are, go there to check. All right, so we have a piece of vellum and it is cut at one inch by nine and a quarter. So what I like to do for my belly band is I like to get things all lined up nice, nice and neat here as best I can. I'm using my grid and then I fold and I like my closure part. I don't want to make it too tight. So you just got to kind of give it a loose fit. And I like my closure part to be wherever my other item is going to go over the belly band. Okay. So we're just going to take and put a little adhesive there and then what you want to make sure of is you want to make sure that wherever you put your adhesive 
it goes all the way onto the other side of the vellum. Does that make sense? You don't want adhesive poking out where it could then glue itself to the card. That would be bad because um, then you wouldn't be able to get the belly band off and on. Then I like to take and put the adhesive on wherever the belly band part is and then we're gonna glue this piece right down to the top of that piece, just like that, okay? Now we gotta do all of our other stamping and fun stuff. So I'm gonna fussy cut this out. I like to get a lot of my excess paper off the edges before I start my fussy cutting. I try to remember to do that because it usually helps. And then I'm gonna leave a little bit of a edge or border around these flowers as I cut them out. And as you can see, I'm moving the paper more than I'm moving my scissors. So that's a pro tip I have for you for fussy cutting. Don't take your scissors and try to, you know, do this. That, that doesn't work. You kind of just, first of all, you need really sharp scissors. So if you don't have sharp scissors, fussy cutting is immediately going to be more difficult for you. Um, one of the ways you can sharpen scissors is to take a piece of aluminum foil and just hack away at it with your scissors and it will actually sharpen the edge. You can also have your scissors sharpened by a professional. Um, our scissors I think are $10. So I'll be honest, I have like six pairs and I rotate through them. So nothing gets dull really. Um, and the reason I have so many pairs of them <laughs> is because I used to teach classes in person. And when I taught classes in person um, for card making, people, you know, people would forget their own scissors. So I always tried to have a pair of scissors hanging out at the table so that they could uh, use the scissors I had. And then a lot of times people would end up wanting to buy a pair because they realize how awesome they are. So these are really nice scissors. Okay. So there's that. And we're going to add it just like this. And... I'm gonna use up my dimensionals here. I did use this card for a card swap too recently, so that was nice. Double dipping, doing it for you guys and for a card swap. Okay, now we're gonna stamp the Hello Friend and we're gonna use, I have this, this Stampin' Up! does not sell this, but if you do heat embossing, you need one of these. They used to sell it and they quit selling it. I'm not sure why. Anyways, there's a, um, in the link, the description of this video, there's a whole list of products I use that are not Stampin' Up! And this is one of them. You can get it on Amazon. And I am an affiliate with Amazon. So when you purchase through my links, I do get a little bit of cash from that. But um, we're talking like a little tiny bit of cash, people. Pennies. Um but it doesn't cost you any extra. It's just something that Amazon does for people like me who share their, to, that you can shop with them. Okay, so now we're using white embossing powder. And then we need to heat emboss it. And that's probably going to be a little noisy. I'm hoping you're still going to be able to hear me over the embossing tool. I think you can. All right. 
for those just joining, I do see questions popping in. I am going to answer all of your questions as soon as I'm done making the card. It's just really hard for me to do both. Here's my heat tool. So embossing is one of my very favorite techniques because it melts the embossing powder. And it gives you this beautiful finished image. All right, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna cut this guy out and add it to our card. And then our card will be almost finished. We just have to, in, of course, add some bling, right? Bling is very important. So yeah, if you're just joining and you're like, I'm asking a question and this broad's not answering or acknowledging me, it's just because I cannot do that and do this at the same time. Otherwise, what happens then is um, I end up going back and forth between the project and what I'm answering and I lose track of something. Either I can't answer your question or I forget where I'm at in the project. So I just learned a long time ago to give it up. Give it up, I'm not that superstar person that can do both. Okay, so now I'm gonna add dimensionals on part of this and I added adhesive on part of it. I'm gonna remove the backing and add my sentiment and then Look at these. These are brand new in the new catalog. These are the iridescent gems. Oh my lands, y'all. I am telling you right now, these are my favorite. You, As you can see, I've used a ton of them already. Um, they are so beautiful. So I'm just gonna add them here and here and then a big giant one up here and that's it, that's the card. Isn't that pretty? And then the belly band just slides off and I open it up and you have this inside. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. All right, so that's that. Now, we are going to um, do a catalog stroll and I'm gonna answer your question. So let me get some of this other stuff out of the way. And if you have any questions for me, now is the time to pop them in the chat. And if you have no desire to look through the catalog with me, then you can go. However, we are doing a uh, giveaway here at the very end. So you might want to stick around for that. I don't know. It's up to you. Let me grab my, lap or my iPad. I wish you guys could see my puppy. She's under my desk. She doesn't like to, um, so the other dogs lay away from me, but she wants to be like right on top of where I'm at. So I've learned to get her to settle down and go to sleep and be calm. I have to put her dog bed under my feet. It's real fun <laughs> trying to manage that. Okay. All right, good afternoon. Hi, Deborah. Um, so now I have all your comments up here. Um, we got Miss Deborah in the house. Small town crafty girl, hello. Dee Dee, Beverly Meeker, I got your order today. I am gonna process that this afternoon. Elaine, hello. Callie girl, um, Mitzi. Oh Lord, it's slushy, snowy, icy, miserable in Eastern Oregon, Faileen says. Tracy, hello, Lisa, Cindy, Kitty. Thank you for sharing my video, Beverly. That's so appreciated. Deborah, I really love the paper set. It's so pretty. It's so cold. 60 degrees, almost 70 on Christmas. You must live in um, Florida. 
Hello in Kansas, Helena, Vicki, Ginger. Ginger says, I'm a new Stampin' Up! demonstrator. How can I get the hostess set for free? You just have to um, place your own order that's large enough and then you can choose it. It looks like Chris answered your question for you. And welcome to Stampin' Up! Ginger. Hi, Glenda. I'm so happy you got your catalog today. I mailed catalogs at uh, mid-December and people are still receiving them. I just cannot believe how long it's taking. Um, thank you. Marilyn says the card is very nice. Vicki says she likes that I stay on task while teaching. Thank you, Vicki. I like it too. It's much easier for me. As soon as I quit trying to answer people's questions while I was creating, everything got so much easier for me. Um, so it makes it enjoyable for me to do a live now instead of stressful. Um, Melissa says, so cute, beautiful, super cute. Hello from Wisconsin. Hello. I'll be there Thursday to get her riled up. Ha, Miss Deborah. Yes, Miss Deborah will be here Thursday. Uh, watching from Florida, Honeybee Stamping Hive. Hello in Florida. She missed the demo. You can go back and watch it. Hi, Carolyn. Good to see everybody here. Okay, so I don't have any questions, but let's go ahead and do our catalog stroll, shall we? So um, I'm new to card making, Sarah says, and enjoy all of your videos watching from the UK. Welcome. Okay, so Celebration is um, a promotion that Stampin' Up! does every year, and they're doing it January 4th through February 28th. And... Basically, everything in this is free. So you get it free by placing qualifying orders. So for example, if you wanted this Island Vibe stamp set for free, you would have to place a order of $50 and they put the amount you need here because there's two levels. There's this really cool Daffodil Afternoon paper free with $50 order. These are my two favorites. If you got in on my paper party retreat, you're gonna get this set for free. So don't add it to your order. Catching butterflies is also really cute. And then this paper is probably my favorite paper ever to ever be released ever in any catalog. I love it so much. It's the Sunshine and Rainbows paper. And it is I'm going to grab it so you can see it. Um, it is free with a $50 order. If you, I just cannot. If you don't like this paper, like, I don't know what to do for you. I, I don't know how to help you. This is just the most beautiful paper. It's so happy. Okay. So there's that. There's this really cool paper, which I didn't think I would like actually, but then when I got it and I played with it, I really liked it. And this Saturday on my blog, there will be a card using this paper. So watch out for that. And then of course we have the little otters here. They're so sweet. And then today I used this. So to get this, it's a hundred dollar order. Um, and then you can get the stamp set and the paper for free. This is the Special Moments stamp set. I love this stamp set. It's free with a $100 order also. So let me grab it so you can see it up close. If you place like a $200 order, you're gonna get Stampin' Rewards. You're gonna, you can get this free. You could get the Friendly Hello stuff for free. Here it is here. So lots of great sentiments. I love this stamp set. And then you can get this for free if your order is $300 or $50, or no, I'm sorry, $300 or more. So if you have a personal order of $300, or if you were to host a Stampin' Up! party and your order's totaled $300, then you can get this for free also in addition to the other items. Um, and then the joining offer, which I kind of already touched on, is the starter kit's $99 plus tax. The shipping on the kit is free but you get to choose $125 in product, plus you get two free stamp sets. So the only ones that are excluded from that are the host stamp sets and the celebration stamp sets. Those aren't part of this, but you can get two of any other stamp set you want for free. So it's a huge value. 
to purchase the starter kit. Plus then you're part of my lovely Stampers crew, which is awesome sauce because we do all kinds of fun things. So that's celebration in a nutshell and what you get and how it works. The mini catalog. So I'm so excited to be able to open this up and actually look through it with you. All right. So right here at the front, we always have like some sort of message from um, the CEO or co-founder and information. And then there's a little blurb about subscribing to Paper Pumpkin, which I do and I love getting Paper Pumpkin. And then we've got, we get right into Valentine's. So um, the Sweet Talk Suite Here's what's cool about our catalogs. Let's say you saw all of this and you saw all these samples and you were like, I just want all this stuff. I just want it. I want the paper. I want the bundle. I want the embossing folder. I want the iridescent gems. I want the ribbon and I want the little boxes. You can put one item number in and get all of it. So you don't have to go through and put all these item numbers in. The only caveat to that, and I really want to stress this, is if one of these items is unavailable, they will turn this code off. That doesn't mean that the other items aren't available. Does that make sense? And right now, during the stuff that's going on, and, I, and I, I'm not going to use the words because I don't want YouTube to take my video down, um, but with everything that's going on globally, you all know about it. Shipping is a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. There's just stuff floating in the ocean. So it's very likely that there are gonna be items that go out of stock quick. In fact, um, the frayed ribbon, which I'll show you in a minute, is out of stock. It, and it was available this morning. I luckily got it for my paper party retreat people. So everybody who's in, um, attending my paper party retreat is going to get a roll of that ribbon for free. And I already had ordered it before it went out of stock, but it's gone. It's, it's out of stock. So it will eventually come back, hopefully, whenever we get another shipment. So that's where we're at. It's a crisis and we're all living through it together, right? Okay. So that's that stuff. And then this is a really cute set. I personally do not have a lot of like anniversary weddings needs in my life at this point. So I just got the, um, the dies and the embossing folder. I didn't feel like I needed the stamp, the sentiments. Um, okay. This stuff is so stinking cute. So you've got the little gumball machine with the little die cuts to cut it all out and make a cute gumball machine. And then we have these, um, shaker domes that go in between. And then these little shaker bits, you guys want to see the shaker bits? Let's see. Let me grab them. They are really cute. They do look like little gumballs. Okay. Okay, Cali Girl, you said you got your catalog a while ago um, and they were sick over Christmas. Again, I'm not going to say the word and it brightened your week. I'm so glad it brightened your week. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Vicky says thumbs up on my video to everyone because she knows I've talked about it before when you when you click the little thumbs up icon at the bottom of my video it actually tells YouTube that you're engaged and you really like my videos it helps me a lot um and so does subscribing so if you're not already subscribed please do I placed a mega order this morning I didn't get anything other during the demo pre-order uh love the paper Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Jay Nelson, I just placed a huge order and I'm not mad about it. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. How, hi, Iona. She's one of my um, lovely stampers. Oh, nice. I have a friend whose birthday is on 214. Yes, Miss Deborah's birthday is on uh, February 14th. Love seeing the new products shared. Ah, oh, thanks, Rose. Okay, so look at these. These are like little gumballs. I mean, that's really what they are. Let's pour some out in my hand. They are so cute and tiny. 
and they kind of have like a matte finish so they're not like glossy and I just love them. They're so cute. They're going to make great shaker cards. And I love me a shaker card. You guys know it. Okay. There is this stamp set, which I love. And we are going to use this one in the paper party retreat. So I did send an email out to my paper party people that if you um, were placing an order to, there was a list of stamp sets I told them to get. And this was one of them because I think it's so cute and it's going to be fun to use in the party. Okay. And then we've got the Flowering Field Suite, which has gorgeous designer series paper. I got this stamp set or this bundle, but I didn't get this one. Um, I just wasn't feeling this. I wasn't sure exactly how to use it. But now, of course, I've seen a few people make samples with it and I'm starting to be like, oh, should I own it? You know how that is. And then there's these beautiful little gold um, butterflies and really pretty ribbon. So here's those kind of just enlarged, blown up. Okay, this stuff is like in Wendy's wheelhouse. I love this stuff right here. I think it's so beautiful. And I'm excited to create with it. I've already created a little bit with this. Um, I created last month for our December online card class. I created this project and it uses that paper and this and I just I just love this. So it's got the little calendar that you can tear off. And that was part of our, and if you want this um, tutorial, the PDF tutorial for all of my projects from December, it's only $6 on my, in my online store. So if you go over to my uh, website and you click on learning, it's under cart, it's under PDF tutorials. Okay, so there's that. Oh, and this stamp coordinates with that deer punch that we had from the holiday catalog. So that carried over. I love it when they do that. And then we've got the little ladybug stuff, which is so dang cute. I just love it. I cannot wait to create with it. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, when I tell you I took two weeks off, I mean, I really took two weeks off. I was really doing some downtime. Um, all right, this one not really my wheelhouse, not exactly sure how to use this. Um, I think the samples are beautiful, but this was not one that I purchased. This entire suite of products is really tough for me outside of the embellishments, the specialty mother of pearl paper and the ribbon, not really digging it. So um, it's beautiful for some, I'm sure. In fact, the suite is already on back order, like you can't even get it. Um, so there's that. And I think part of the reason the suite is not available is because this ribbon is not available. This ribbon still has never come in stock. It wasn't even in stock for demonstrators that I'm aware of. So I think the ribbon is gorgeous. I'd love to get my hands on it, but we can't right now. So um, all of these goodies. I just, they just don't speak to me. And sometimes that happens, you know, you just have that happen. But lots of people love, love them. So there's that. Okay. Um, I thought this was really fun and simple and cute. Great for simple cards. I love how they created a wreath right here. And then I've already created a card with this because it's so stinking cute. I just love it. So and I love the sentiments. And let me draw your attention to something that you might not have noticed. The sentiments in this can be used outside of Easter. So other than the happy Easter, the other three sentiments are totally just like spring, happy, just because card type sentiments, which I personally love because I think you could pair these. Well, I did. I paired these little critters with different sentiments and it's just like a just because card so you'll see that hi tracy okay this one i thought was really cool i actually had an idea immediately for it i don't know if it's going to come to fruition we'll see but i thought it was really pretty and i'm excited to see what i can create with this love both of these very spring, very happy. I love this one, very graphic, easy to add color to. Love the artfully composed suite. Um, I think it's gorgeous. 
I love these like little glass things. Just beautiful. The vellum is beautiful. And here's that frayed ribbon that's already unavailable. So I knew that was gonna be a hot ticket item. So I'm glad I got my order in when I did to get it to my paper party fo folks. Okay, this is really pretty. I just ordered this actually recently. So um, we'll see what I can come up with that. And I really love the sentiments that go along with it. Another really pretty one, love the sentiments. I personally love this set. I've already made a card with it. Um, I like daffodils. We have a little place near us that used to be called Daffodil Hill. It's closed down now, but I really love this set. These two I wasn't sure about. Um, I did end up ordering this and got it in the mail. I really love the dyes. We'll see what I can create with that. This, I just, I'm just really not sure. I don't know how to use stamp sets like these. Um, it's just my own personal, like, I just don't know how to use them. So um, anyway, there's that. Okay, I didn't think I would like this set at all, um, if I'm being honest, but then we got it for free with one of our events. I think it was on stage and I stamped with it and I was like, actually, this is kind of cool. But the thing that I love the most is the dies. The dies are incredible. They're nice and big and chunky and they have a layer behind them which makes them perfect and I just, I love them. So this ended up being a set that I really, really loved. Okay, we have the Sending Hugs. This is an oldie. This is the Eden's Garden which was available back in November. So a lot of people already have that if they wanted it. All of this stuff is really cool. Again, I'm not exactly sure how to create with it. Um, I love the paper. I didn't get the bundle. I'm not exactly sure what to do with it, but there's plenty of other stuff in the catalog that I know exactly what to do with, so I'm not too worried. Okay, I think this stamp set is really cute. Um, I love gardening and grapes is a big deal where I live because I live in wine country. So I thought this was a really cute stamp set. And then we've got a couple of really cool background stamps that I think are going to be a lot of fun to do stuff with. Um, this Soaring Swallows bundle is, I love the sentiments. I love the font, but I, I just, I wasn't able to connect with the images. So we'll see what other people do because then I'll probably end up wanting it like everything else. Um, these, I love the dies, specifically this like tree one that is like a frame. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Love all of this stuff. The Abstract Beauty Suite. I just got done making some cards with it. Um, I absolutely love this suite of products and it was on the top of my list of ones to purchase. Okay, and then this happy and heartfelt. This is part going to be part of our um, paper party because it has all the good sent sentiments. It's got, you know, everything you possibly could need really um, to make some really thoughtful, beautiful cards. Love, 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 love these. These are like, first of all, Thank you, Stampin' Up! for finally getting on the train and recognizing that we needed Slimline products. Um, and then these are just so cute. I just love them. This one is so awesome, brag-worthy. Um, I love the sentiments. Uh, your friendship is... ...to silence my phone. Um, is as brag worthy as a dress with pockets. Thank you for being the person I overthink things with. I love this or thanks I should say. Um, so many. One minute you're young and cool and the next you're getting excited over new towels. Happy birthday. So I'll be honest when I saw this stamp set I was like I'm keeping this stamp set for the rest of my life because every single birthday card for my best friend Laura from here to the t end of time will be made with this because like every sentiment is so totally us. I'm here for you. Seriously, try to get rid of me. Just try. Look at you doing grown up things and stuff. I mean, it's just how we talk to each other. It's so funny. 
And then same with these. I love these. This is my friend Sam's um, $1 million set. Really cute. Love the font. And these are so sweet. And of course, there's one with a puppy dog, which would be me. And then we have the Heart and Home uh, designer paper suite. It's very pretty. I really enjoy it. Um, the doilies are super cute. I love these um, dots, these matte dots. They're so cute. And it's got one of those memory and more packs. And it's one that I really honestly thought I wasn't going to care for. But then once I started playing with it and using it, I ended up really liking it. You know how that goes. We all have that, uh, that gene in us, don't we? These are really cute, just standalone stamps when you just need like a whole image for a card and you wanna keep life simple, great for that. And all of these, super, super cute. I love animals, I love these. These are just so stinking cute. All right, we've got the hedgehog. I've already made a card using the hedgehog. It was on my uh, video last Saturday. So love this, love the goodies in this. The Celebrating You, this is really cute. All the sentiments, covers all the things. And then there's this little sneaky deal here. We've got the Butterflies and Flowers Layering Decorative Masks. Don't miss this. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this and I'm gonna sh you'll see it and it's really great, but I just don't want you to miss out on these. these they're only $10. Grab them, throw them on an order um, because you're gonna have a lot of fun with these. Okay, we've got the Cactus Cuties bundle. So stinking cute, has that fun punch, really cute, I love it. And then we have this one here, which is such a simple basic sentiment set, um, but you could do some really cute stuff with it. And I love how they've done the stepped up versions, right? So you have this very, very simple version, one that's stepped up a little more, and then one that's really elaborate. So you can imagine all the possibilities with this set. Here we have Hey Sports Fan. Um, I love this paper. I love the embellishments. I love the twine. I actually really like this, but I thought to myself, how am I really gonna use this? Like, I, is it something I'll use a lot? And then I had this moment where I was like, duh, you have friends that are having little, that like I have a friend that has a little boy that just turned a year old. And then I have another friend who's having a little boy. And so I'm like, you got some little boys happening in your life here, girl. So um, anyway, so there'll be some fun stuff I can do with this. And look at this, isn't that cute? Tanner's B-Day. So this is like an invitation. So I thought that was really cute too. Um, I'll be honest, didn't get either one of these. They just didn't speak to me. I wasn't sure how to use them. Um, so I passed on them. I do really like this bear. And I think I like him because all I can think of when I see him is brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? I see blah, blah, blah looking at me. Do you guys remember that from when you were a kid? It's like ingrained in my brain. I don't ship to the UK, Sarah. I'm sorry. It's actually um, against Stampin' Up! compliance. So I cannot do that as much as I would love to. Okay, this one I absolutely love. I was like, okay, this is me. This is me and my life. We love gardening. We love being outdoors. We love like nature and outside. And this is just all those things. So I'm definitely going to make my husband a Father's Day card and probably a birthday card with this. And then this one I loved also because, hello, cute little cartoony people just so cute I just love it um love this super simple perfect beautiful I love how they embossed on black here to make this really look like a vinyl I just loved it so I can't wait to create with that and that's it and then we just get into all the bundles in the back I love our index that kind of just has everything in one spot for you if you want to look at all the embellishments, you can go back and look at all the embellishments or all the ribbon or all the papers, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then we've got these super cute host sets. So when you place a $150 order or more, 
you get 10% in stamp and rewards, which would be $15. And you get that all the way up to $300. So let's say you spend 250, that means you get $25 in um, host rewards. So then you can use those rewards to get these stamp sets. You cannot purchase these. You can only get them with stamp and rewards. So just bear that in mind, okay? And that is that, kids. That is everything. So let's do our giveaway. My throat is extremely dry. I need to, let me take a drink. Ooh, it's a lot to talk for a long time and not stop. All right, here we go. What we're giving away um, is this stamp set. It is a Christmas stamp set, so you'll have to save it for next year. But you can also, you'll also get the Flirty Flamingo. And then this is some tear and tape adhesive. So the person that wins this will win all of these. You do need to email me your address if you win. And if I don't hear from you within like 48 hours, then I'll do another giveaway. Okay, winner is, oh, and you do have to be in the United States. Sorry. Winner is Vicki Weiss or Weiss. Weiss? So congratulations, Vicki. Let me get a little piece of my post-it note tape here. And I will put this in the your name on here. And then I can get this in the mail to you. Okay, so if you need any of these products, you can get them in my online store. There is a link below the video where you can purchase all of these goodies um, and get your free celebration items. The best deal for your money is always going to be to purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit because you get so much stuff for free when you do that. Even if you decide not to stick around, it is worth the money to just, if you're gonna place a $100 order, you may as well purchase the Starter Kit. It's kind of like buying a Costco membership. Basically, you're buying a membership to shop with Stampin' Up! at a discount. You get 20% off all of your orders after you purchase the Starter Kit. And it is a fantastic a deal for your money. So really consider that. If you don't stick around, that's okay too. Um, you know, we, we, we won't hold it against you. No Stampin' Up! Police are going to show up and make sure that you uh, stay with us, I promise. All right, congratulations, Vicki. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions for me, always feel free to email me or comment. I do go back and look at them, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.